As the sun rises and a new day unfolds, you are invited into a powerful time of prayer, a moment to align your heart with God's plan, to seek His guidance, and to unlock His blessings over your life. This morning, as you step into prayer, let your worries fade and your hopes rise. God is ready to open doors, bring favor, and guide you through every challenge you face today. Stay with us, and by the end of this prayer, you'll feel renewed, uplifted, and empowered by His presence. Let's dive into this time of divine connection, knowing that God's blessings are waiting for you. Stick with us until the end as we speak His promises over your day, trusting in His power to transform every situation. Let's begin this morning with hearts full of expectation, knowing that God's hand is upon us. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning with hearts full of gratitude and expectation. Thank you for the gift of a new day, for the breath in our lungs, and for your mercies that are new every morning. As we step into this day, we acknowledge your sovereignty over every aspect of our lives, and we surrender all our hopes, dreams, and worries into your capable hands. Lord, we ask that you fill this day with your presence. Guide our steps, direct our paths, and give us wisdom in every decision we make. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 reminds us to trust in you with all our hearts and not to lean on our own understanding. Father, today we choose to trust you fully, knowing that you are working all things for our good. We lift up our desires and ask for your favor. Just as Jeremiah 29 verse 11 declares, you have plans to prosper us, not to harm us, to give us a hope and a future. Lord, align our hearts with your will. Where there are doors we need to walk through, open them wide. Where there are challenges we must face, strengthen us with your grace. Where there are moments of uncertainty, fill us with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Father, we also pray for your protection today. We know that in this world there are trials, but you are our refuge and fortress. Psalm 91 verses 1 to 2 promises that those who dwell in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. We ask for your covering over us, our families, and our loved ones. Guard our hearts and minds, shield us from harm, and surround us with your angels. Lord, as we go about our day, we ask for your provision in every area of our lives. You are Jehovah Jireh, our provider, and you know our needs before we even ask. Whether it's financial provision, emotional strength, or physical health, we trust that you will supply all our needs according to your riches in glory. Matthew 6 verse 33 reminds us to seek first your kingdom, and all these things will be added to us. Help us to keep our eyes on you, trusting that you will take care of every detail. We also ask for your peace, Father. In moments of stress, when we feel overwhelmed, help us to rest in your presence. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 tells us not to be anxious about anything, but to bring everything to you in prayer. So, we lay our worries at your feet, knowing that you are in control. Fill us with your peace that will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Lord, we also pray for joy today. The joy of the Lord is our strength, as Nehemiah 8 verse 10 says, and we choose to walk in that joy regardless of our circumstances. Help us to find joy in the small moments, in the people around us, and in the work we do. Let your joy overflow in our hearts and radiate to those we encounter today. Father, Bless the work of our hands. 
whether we are at home, in our jobs, or serving others, may everything we do be done with excellence and integrity. Colossians 3 verse 23 says, Whatever we do, we are to work with all our hearts as if working for you and not for human masters. Open doors of opportunity, grant us success, and use us as instruments of your will. We also lift up our relationships to you today. Lord, help us to reflect your love in our interactions with others. Ephesians 4 verses 2 to 3 encourages us to be humble, gentle, and patient, bearing with one another in love. Let your Spirit guide us in all conversations, and may we bring unity, peace, and encouragement to everyone we meet. Father, we pray for breakthroughs in areas of our lives where we have been waiting. Isaiah 40 verse 31 reminds us that those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. Renew our strength today, Lord, as we trust in your timing and await the breakthroughs you have in store for us. We also ask for healing in every area where there is brokenness. Whether it's physical, emotional, or spiritual healing, we trust you as our great physician. Psalm 147 verse 3 says you heal the brokenhearted and bind up their wounds. Touch us with your healing hand and restore us to wholeness. Lord, we ask for your help in being a blessing to others today. Give us eyes to see the needs around us and a heart willing to serve. Matthew 5 verse 16 reminds us to let our light shine before others, that they may see our good deeds and glorify you in heaven. Help us to be vessels of your love, sharing your goodness and grace with everyone we encounter. Finally, Lord, we ask for your help in maintaining a heart of gratitude. James 1 verse 17 reminds us that every good and perfect gift comes from you. Help us to start and end this day with thanksgiving, recognizing your hand in every moment and praising you for your faithfulness. As we go through this day, Father, we ask that you keep us connected to you. John 15 verse 5 tells us that you are the vine and we are the branches. Help us to remain in you so that we can bear fruit in everything we do. Heavenly Father, as we continue in this moment of prayer and reflection, we want to linger in your presence. We recognize that there is no better place to be than in your loving arms. Lord, this morning, we seek to draw near to you. Your word in James 4 verse 8 promises that as we draw near to you, you will draw near to us. So, Father, in this time, we press into you, knowing that you are near, that you are listening, and that you care deeply for each of us. Lord, we come before you humbly, with hearts open to receive all that you have for us. We know that you are the source of all wisdom, strength, and peace. As we start this day, we surrender all of our plans, our desires, and our fears to you. Let your will be done in our lives, Father, as it is in heaven. We pray as Jesus taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, let this prayer not just be words, but a deep cry from our hearts for your will to be done. We trust in your timing and your plans, Lord, even when we don't understand them. Proverbs 16 verse 9 tells us that we can make our plans, but it is you who directs our steps. Direct us today, Father. Guide us with your perfect wisdom, so that every decision we make, 
big or small, aligns with your perfect plan for our lives. We lift up all our concerns to you, Father, knowing that you care for us deeply. 1 Peter 5 verse 7 says to cast all our cares upon you, because you care for us. Lord, in this moment of prayer, we cast our burdens at your feet. Whether they are financial concerns, relational challenges, health issues, or emotional struggles, we give them all to you. We trust that you will take these burdens and work them for our good, just as Romans 8 verse 28 promises, that in all things you work for the good of those who love you and are called according to your purpose. Father, as we move through this day, help us to be aware of your presence in every moment. Let us see you in the beauty of creation, in the kindness of others, and even in the challenges we may face. Remind us that you are always with us, that you never leave us or forsake us, as Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 tells us. Lord, we ask for your strength to walk through whatever comes our way today, knowing that you are walking with us. We ask for your wisdom, Father. Your word in James 1 verse 5 says that if any of us lacks wisdom, we should ask you, and you will give it generously, without finding fault. Lord, we need your wisdom today. We face decisions, some small and some that could change the course of our lives. In all of these, we seek your guidance. Let your Holy Spirit lead us into all truth, as Jesus promised in John 16 verse 13. May your Spirit guide us in our conversations, our work, and our interactions with others, so that we can glorify you in all that we do. Lord, we also ask for your peace today, the peace that passes all understanding, as Philippians 4 verse 7 tells us. In moments of anxiety or fear, help us to rest in the knowledge that you are in control. We choose to be still and know that you are God, just as Psalm 46 verse 10 reminds us. In the busyness of life, when the pressures of the world feel overwhelming, help us to find our rest in you. Let your peace guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Father, we pray for your favor and blessings today. We know that you delight in blessing your children and we come before you asking for your favor in our work, in our relationships, and in every area of our lives. Just as Psalm 90 verse 17 says, May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us, establish the work of our hands for us, yes, establish the work of our hands. Let everything we put our hands to today be blessed and bear fruit for your kingdom. We also pray for protection, Lord, over our families, our homes, and our lives. Psalm 91 reminds us that you are our refuge and fortress, our God in whom we trust. We pray for your divine protection as we go about our day. Keep us from harm, Lord, and shield us from any attacks of the enemy. We declare that no weapon formed against us will prosper, as Isaiah 54 verse 17 promises. Surround us with your angels, as Psalm 91 verse 11 says, to guard us in all our ways. Father, we ask for your healing touch today. Whether we need physical healing in our bodies, emotional healing from past wounds, or spiritual healing and renewal, we know that you are the God who heals. Psalm 103 verse 3 says that you forgive all our sins and heal all our diseases. We trust in your power to heal us and make us whole. Touch us, Lord, with your healing hand. Restore us to full health and vitality, so that we may serve you with all our strength. Lord, we also pray for those who are suffering around us. 
There are so many who are hurting today, those facing illness, loss, loneliness, and despair. Father, we lift them up to you. Be their comfort, their peace, and their strength. Psalm 34 verse 18 says that you are close to the brokenhearted and save those who are crushed in spirit. We ask that you be near to those who are struggling today, that they may feel your loving presence and be reminded that you are with them, even in their darkest moments. We also pray for breakthroughs, Father. In areas where we have been waiting for answers, where we have been praying for change, we ask that you move powerfully. Whether it's a financial breakthrough, a breakthrough in a relationship, or a breakthrough in our personal growth, we trust that you are working behind the scenes. Isaiah 40 verse 31 tells us that those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. Help us to wait on you with patience, knowing that in your perfect timing, you will bring about the breakthroughs we need. Father, we ask that you help us to walk in love today. Help us to be patient, kind, and compassionate to those around us, even when it's difficult. Colossians 3 verse 12 reminds us to clothe ourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Lord, let these qualities be evident in us today. Let us be quick to forgive, slow to anger, and always ready to show grace, just as you have shown grace to us. We also pray for opportunities to share your love with others today. Help us to be a light in this dark world, shining with the love and hope of Jesus. Matthew 5 verse 16 tells us to let our light shine before others, so that they may see our good deeds and glorify you. Give us boldness to share our faith, to encourage those who are struggling, and to be a reflection of your love in all that we do. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness. Even when we are unfaithful, you remain faithful. Your love for us never changes, and your mercies are new every morning. As we continue through this day, we hold on to your promises, knowing that you will never leave us nor forsake us. You are our strength, our refuge, and our salvation. We pray all of this in the mighty name of Jesus, trusting in your goodness and your power. Amen. This is a continuation of the prayer, and you can repeat similar themes, scriptures, and blessings as you extend the prayer for an hour. By layering these deep requests and reflections with moments of pause, meditation, and scripture, the prayer will remain engaging and spiritually enriching for listeners. You can also include intervals of calm music or quiet reflection to lengthen the experience while maintaining focus. You said. Continue. ChatGPT said. ChatGPT. Certainly. Let's continue expanding the prayer, maintaining a sense of spiritual flow and depth to engage your audience for the entire duration. Heavenly Father, as we linger in your presence, we take this moment to quiet our minds and open our hearts to you. We invite your Holy Spirit to fill every part of our being. Lord, we acknowledge that without you, we can do nothing, but with you, all things are possible. You are the vine, and we are the branches, help us to remain in you today abiding in your love and bearing fruit that brings glory to your name, John 15 verse 5. Lord, we surrender to your leading and your wisdom as we go through this day, trusting that your plans for us are good, and your ways are perfect. Father, we know that in this world, we will face challenges and trials, but we also know that you have overcome the world, John 16 verse 33. So we take heart, finding our confidence and peace in you. 
Whatever trials may come our way today, whether big or small, we trust that you are in control. We declare that we will not be shaken, for our foundation is built on the solid rock of Christ. Just as Psalm 62 verse 6 says, He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress, I shall not be shaken. Lord, strengthen our faith, so that no matter what happens, we will stand firm in your promises. Father, we also ask for your wisdom in navigating difficult situations. There may be moments today when we don't know what to do or how to respond. In those moments, Lord, we ask that you give us clarity and discernment. Proverbs 2 verse 6 says, For the Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. We trust that you will guide our steps and give us the insight we need to make decisions that honor you. Lord, we lift up our families and loved ones once again. We pray for unity, peace, and love to reign in our homes. Help us to be peacemakers, to sow seeds of kindness, and to speak words of encouragement that build others up. Help us to be patient with one another, bearing with each other in love, as Ephesians 4 verses 2 to 3 reminds us. Lord, where there has been tension or division, we pray for reconciliation. Where there has been misunderstanding, we pray for clarity and forgiveness. Let your love flow through us, so that we may reflect your heart to our families and to everyone we encounter today. Father, we also pray for those in our lives who do not yet know you. We lift up our friends, family members, co-workers, and neighbors who are searching for meaning, for peace, and for truth. Lord, we ask that you soften their hearts and open their eyes to see the beauty of the gospel. Use us as your vessels, Lord, to share your love and truth with those who need it. Help us to live in a way that points others to you, to be a light in the darkness, and to always be ready to give an answer for the hope that we have in you, 1 Peter 3 verse 15. Lord, we pray for their salvation and for the work of the Holy Spirit to draw them closer to you. We also want to lift up all of those who are struggling with burdens that seem too heavy to carry. Father, for those dealing with illness, pain, or disease, we ask for your healing touch. We believe that you are Jehovah Rapha, the Lord who heals, Exodus 15 verse 26. We pray for your healing power to flow through their bodies, restoring health and strength. For those who are struggling emotionally, who are feeling weighed down by anxiety, depression, or fear, we ask for your comfort and peace to surround them. Remind them, Lord, that you are near to the brokenhearted and that you save those who are crushed in spirit, Psalm 34 verse 18. Let them feel your loving arms around them, providing hope and assurance. Father, we know that life can be overwhelming at times, and there are moments when the weight of responsibility and pressure feels too much to bear. In those times, help us to remember your invitation in Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30, where Jesus says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Lord, we come to you now with our weariness, asking for your rest. Help us to let go of the things we cannot control and to trust you completely with every aspect of our lives. Asterisk asterisk Lord, we also ask for financial provision. Asterisk asterisk there are many who are struggling to make ends meet, who are facing uncertain futures regarding their jobs, businesses, or resources. We trust you as Jehovah Jireh, our provider, 
and we believe that you will supply all our needs according to your riches in glory. Philippians 4 verse 19. Lord, provide for every need, whether it's food, shelter, employment, or financial support. We pray for breakthroughs in situations where doors have seemed closed, and we trust that you will make a way where there seems to be no way. As we continue in prayer, Father, we also want to remember the power of gratitude. Help us to cultivate hearts that are continually thankful, not just when things are going well, but in every circumstance. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18 reminds us to give thanks in all circumstances, for this is your will for us in Christ Jesus. So today, Lord, we choose gratitude. We thank you for the air we breathe, for the beauty of creation, for the relationships we have, and for the countless ways you have blessed us. We acknowledge that every good and perfect gift comes from you and we want to live with an attitude of thankfulness that reflects our trust in your goodness. Lord, we also ask for your help in guarding our hearts and minds today. There are so many distractions, temptations, and negative influences in the world that can lead us astray. But your word in Philippians 4 verse 8 reminds us to think about whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, and admirable. Help us to fix our thoughts on these things and to take captive every thought that is not from you. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5. We ask that you renew our minds daily so that we can walk in alignment with your truth and live lives that honor you. Father, we pray for your joy to fill our hearts today. The joy of the Lord is our strength and we ask for that joy to sustain us, no matter what circumstances we face, Nehemiah 8 verse 10. Help us to find joy in the simple moments, to see the beauty in the ordinary, and to rejoice in the knowledge that you are with us. Let your joy be evident in our lives, so that others may see your goodness and be drawn to you. Finally, Lord, we ask for an outpouring of your Holy Spirit in our lives. Fill us afresh with your Spirit, empowering us to live boldly for you. As we go through this day, help us to be sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit, to walk in step with your will, and to be open to the divine appointments you have set before us. Use us, Lord, as instruments of your love, grace, and truth. Let your spirit move through us to bring healing, encouragement, and hope to those we encounter. We give this entire day to you, Lord. We surrender our plans, our desires, and our lives into your hands. We trust that you will guide us, protect us, and provide for us in every way. We declare that we are your children, and we walk confidently in the knowledge that you are our good and loving Father. We pray all of this in the mighty and precious name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Father, as we continue in your presence, we acknowledge that we are nothing without you, yet with you, we have everything we need. We humble ourselves before you, recognizing that our strength comes from you alone. Lord, help us to always depend on you, not just in the moments of need, but in every moment of our lives. We surrender our own understanding, our own plans, and our own desires, and we ask that you lead us by your Spirit. Lord, we come before you, lifting up all the uncertainties that weigh on our hearts. In this life, we face questions about our future, our purpose, and the unknowns that can cause anxiety. But, Lord, your word tells us in Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 to trust in you with all our hearts and to lean not on our own understanding. So today, Lord, we choose to trust you. We place our future, 
our plans, and our dreams into your hands, believing that you are working all things together for our good. Romans 8 verse 28. Father, we also want to pray for deeper intimacy with you. Sometimes life can be so busy and filled with distractions, but we don't want to lose sight of what truly matters, our relationship with you. Help us to prioritize our time with you, to seek you first in everything we do. Your word tells us in Matthew 6 verse 33 to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to us. Lord, we want to seek you above all else. Draw us closer to you, deepen our relationship with you, and help us to hear your voice more clearly each day. As we spend time in prayer today, Lord, we also pray for wisdom. James 1 verse 5 says that if any of us lacks wisdom, we should ask of you, and you will give it generously without finding fault. So, Lord, we ask for your divine wisdom to guide us in every decision we make. Whether it's decisions about our work, our families, or personal matters, we want to make choices that are aligned with your will. Help us to discern what is good and pleasing in your sight, and give us the strength to follow through with what you have called us to do. Father, we pray for patience. We live in a world that often demands quick solutions and instant results, but you, Lord, teach us the value of waiting. Waiting on you, trusting in your timing, and being patient in the process. Help us to be patient with ourselves, with others, and with the unfolding of your plans in our lives. Remind us of the truth in Isaiah 40 verse 31, that those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength, they will soar on wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary, they will walk and not faint. Lord, as we wait, give us the strength and endurance to keep moving forward, trusting that you are working even when we cannot see it. Lord, we also ask for clarity in areas of confusion. There may be decisions that seem difficult, paths that seem unclear, or circumstances that leave us feeling uncertain. But your word in 1 Corinthians 14 verse 33 tells us that you are not a God of confusion but of peace. So, Lord, we ask for peace in our minds and hearts. Let your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, Philippians 4 verse 7. Bring clarity where there is doubt, and order where there is chaos. Father, we also want to take this moment to pray for spiritual protection. We know that we are in a spiritual battle, and there are forces of darkness that seek to steal, kill, and destroy, John 10 verse 10. But we declare today that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, Isaiah 54 verse 17. We put on the full armor of God, as described in Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 18. We put on the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, the sword of the Spirit, and the shoes of peace. Protect us, Lord, from the attacks of the enemy. Cover us with your blood, Jesus, and let your angels encamp around us, guarding us from every form of harm. Lord, we lift up our communities to you. We pray for unity, peace, and love to flow throughout our neighborhoods, our workplaces, and our cities. Where there is division, we ask for reconciliation. Where there is hatred, we ask for love. Where there is brokenness, we ask for healing. Help us to be ambassadors of your peace and love, reflecting your grace to those around us. Teach us to love our neighbors as ourselves, and to show compassion to those in need. Father, we lift up the leaders of our world, our nation, and our communities. 
We ask that you give them wisdom and guidance as they make decisions that affect so many lives. Proverbs 21 verse 1 reminds us that the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, and like a stream of water, you turn it wherever you will. Lord, we pray that you direct the hearts of our leaders, that they may govern with justice, compassion, and wisdom. We pray for peace among nations, and we ask for your intervention in places where there is conflict and strife. Lord, we also want to pray for those who feel forgotten, marginalized, or abandoned. Whether it's the homeless, the orphan, the widow, or those who are suffering in silence, we lift them up to you now. Psalm 68 verse 5 tells us that you are a father to the fatherless and a defender of widows. Lord, wrap your loving arms around those who feel alone and unloved. Send people into their lives who will show them kindness and compassion. Let them know that they are seen and valued by you, the creator of the universe. We also lift up those who are suffering persecution for their faith. In many parts of the world, following you comes with great risk, yet they continue to stand firm in their faith. Lord, we ask for your protection and provision over them. Strengthen their resolve, give them boldness, and let them know that they are not alone. Hebrews 13 verse 3 reminds us to remember those in prison as if we were together with them. So we stand with them in prayer, asking that you give them courage and hope in the midst of their trials. Father, as we continue to walk through this day, we ask for moments of stillness. Help us to quiet our souls before you, to be still, and know that you are God. Psalm 46 verse 10 in the busyness of life, it can be so easy to get caught up in the rush of the day and forget to simply be in your presence. But Lord, we want to be a people who seek your face, who listen for your voice, and who rest in the knowledge that you are in control. Help us to be present with you, to find moments to pause and reflect on your goodness, and to live in a posture of worship throughout the day. Father, we pray for your grace to carry us through today. Your grace is sufficient for us, and your power is made perfect in our weakness, 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9. We recognize that we are not perfect, and we will make mistakes. But we are grateful for the grace you extend to us daily. Help us to extend that same grace to others, being quick to forgive, slow to anger, and abounding in love. Lord, as we approach the end of this time of prayer, we want to thank you once again for your faithfulness. You have been so good to us, and we are grateful for your unchanging love. Your mercies are new every morning, Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 23, and we are blessed to walk in the knowledge that you are with us. We declare that this day is a day of victory. We walk in the confidence that you are going before us, making a way where there seems to be no way. We believe that breakthroughs are coming, that doors of opportunity are opening, and that your favor is upon us. We thank you in advance for the good things you have in store for us, and we commit to giving you all the glory and honor. Father, we seal this prayer in the name of Jesus, believing that you hear us and that you are faithful to answer. Let this prayer be a sweet fragrance to you, and may your will be done in our lives today and always. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we continue in this time of communion with you, we take a moment to pause and meditate on your word. Your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path, Psalm 119 verse 105. It guides us, strengthens us, and reminds us of your promises. 
Lord, we want to take this time to reflect on your eternal truths and allow your scriptures to speak directly into our hearts. Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Father, we thank you that you are our shepherd. You are always with us, guiding us, protecting us, and providing for us. Even when we walk through the darkest valleys of life, we do not have to be afraid, because you are there to comfort us and lead us through. Lord, help us to rest in your presence today, knowing that your goodness and mercy will follow us. Isaiah 41 verse 10 reminds us, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Lord, we declare this promise over our lives today. No matter what challenges we may face, we will not be afraid because you are with us. You promise to strengthen us when we feel weak, to help us when we are in need, and to uphold us with your righteous hand. Thank you, Father, for being our strength and our support in every season. As we continue in this time of prayer, we are reminded of the words in Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Father, we thank you that you have good plans for us. Plans that are filled with hope and purpose. Even when we can't see the full picture, we trust in your divine plan. Help us to walk in faith, knowing that you are always leading us toward a future filled with your goodness and grace. We also take comfort in the words of Philippians for verses 6 to 7. Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, Present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Lord, we cast all of our worries and concerns at your feet. We release the anxieties that have been weighing on our hearts, and instead, we choose to trust in you. We bring our needs and desires before you and we thank you for the peace that you so freely give. Let your peace guard our hearts and minds, filling us with calm assurance, no matter the circumstances. Romans 8 verse 28 declares, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Thank you, Lord, that you are always working for our good. Even in the moments of struggle, uncertainty, or waiting, we know that you are moving behind the scenes, turning everything for our benefit. Help us to rest in that truth, trusting in your ability to take even the most difficult circumstances and use them for our growth and your glory. Father, we also reflect on the power of your promises in Isaiah 40 verse 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. 
they will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Lord, we ask for a renewal of strength today. As we place our hope in you, lift us up. Let us soar above the challenges we face. Help us to walk through our days with the energy and endurance that comes from being connected to you. When we feel tired, remind us that you are our source of strength, and you never grow weary. Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30 says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Lord, we bring all of our burdens before you. The weight of our responsibilities, the stress of our worries, and the heaviness of our fears, we place them at your feet. We receive your rest today. Teach us to trust in your gentle and humble heart, knowing that you care for us deeply and that you are always there to lighten our load. In Psalm 46 verse 1, we are reminded, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Lord, you are our refuge. When life feels overwhelming, you are the shelter we run to. You are the strength that holds us up when we feel weak. Thank you for always being present, for never leaving us alone in our times of trouble. We lean into your strength today, knowing that you are more than able to carry us through any storm. Romans 15 verse 13 offers this prayer. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, fill us with your joy and peace. As we trust in you, let your hope overflow in our hearts. We ask for the power of the Holy Spirit to fill us today, renewing our spirits and strengthening our resolve to walk in faith. May we be vessels of your hope, sharing it with those around us. Ephesians 3 verses 20 to 21 declares, Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Father, we end this time of reflection on your word with hearts full of praise. We thank you that you are able to do more than we could ever ask or imagine. Your power is at work within us, transforming us, guiding us, and leading us into a life that brings you glory. We give you all the honor and praise, now and forever. Father, as we continue to lift our hearts to you, we remain in awe of your greatness and your goodness. We thank you for your word that has the power to transform our hearts and minds. Today, we open our hearts fully to receive more of your love, guidance, and grace. Your word tells us in Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Lord, we trust you with all of our hearts. We release our need to control and understand every detail of our lives. We submit to your wisdom and your ways. Guide us today, Lord make our path straight. Lead us where you want us to go, and help us to rest in the assurance that you are always working for our good. Psalm 37 verses 4 to 5 says, Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, 
trust in him and he will do this. Lord, we commit our lives to you. We place all of our desires, hopes, and dreams in your hands, knowing that you will fulfill them according to your perfect will. Help us to delight in you, to find joy in your presence, and to trust that you are working on our behalf. May our hearts be aligned with your heart, and may we find satisfaction in knowing that you are always enough for us. Isaiah 26 verse 3 tells us, You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast, because they trust in you. Father, we ask for your perfect peace to fill our hearts and minds today. There are many distractions and worries that seek to steal our peace, but we choose to fix our minds on you. We trust in your unfailing love, and we know that you are the source of true peace. Let your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, Philippians 4 verse 7. As we pray, we remember the promise in Romans 8 verse 31. If God is for us, who can be against us? Thank you, Lord, that you are for us. No challenge, no obstacle, and no enemy can stand against us when we are under your protection. We rest in the knowledge that you are our defender and our advocate. You go before us, behind us, and surround us with your love and power. We have nothing to fear because you are always with us. In this moment, we reflect on the beauty of your creation and the wonder of your love. We take a few deep breaths, allowing your presence to fill us, calming our hearts and minds. As we continue, Lord, we bring every concern, every worry, and every burden before you. 1 Peter 5 verse 7 reminds us, Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Lord, we cast every care and concern on you today. You know the burdens we carry. You know the silent prayers and unspoken needs that weigh heavily on our hearts. We release them into your hands, trusting that you care for us deeply and personally. Thank you for taking our burdens and replacing them with your peace and comfort. Psalm 121 verses 1 to 2 says, I lift up my eyes to the mountains, where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Lord, we lift our eyes to you. You are the source of our help, our strength, and our hope. When we feel overwhelmed, remind us to look to you, for you are the maker of heaven and earth. You hold all things in your hands, and nothing is too difficult for you. We place our trust in you, knowing that you will provide the help we need in every situation. As we continue to reflect on your word, we remember the promise of John 14 verse 27. Peace I leave with you my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Lord, thank you for the gift of your peace. It is not a fleeting peace like the world offers, but a deep, abiding peace that comes from being in your presence. We receive that peace now, Lord. We let go of the fears and anxieties that try to take hold of our hearts, and we embrace the peace that only you can give. Let your peace fill every corner of our lives today. Deuteronomy 31 verse 8 says, The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Father, thank you for this beautiful promise. You go before us, preparing the way, and you walk with us through every moment. We are never alone, 
for you have promised to never leave us nor forsake us. In the times when we feel discouraged or afraid, remind us of your constant presence. You are our strength and our shield, and we have no reason to fear. As we continue in prayer, we also reflect on the words of Psalm 46 verse 10. Be still, and know that I am God. Lord, we take a moment to be still before you. In the busyness of life, we often forget to pause and simply rest in your presence. But today, we choose to be still and acknowledge that you are God. You are in control of every situation, every detail, and every aspect of our lives. We trust you, and we surrender all that we are into your capable hands. Matthew 6 verse 33 reminds us, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Father, help us to keep our focus on you. In all that we do, may we seek your kingdom first. May we prioritize our relationship with you above all else, knowing that as we do, you will take care of all our needs. We trust in your provision, your guidance, and your wisdom. Lead us, Lord, as we seek to live lives that honor and glorify you. James 1 verse 5 promises. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Lord, we ask for your wisdom today. In every decision we face, in every challenge that comes our way, we need your divine guidance. We acknowledge that our own understanding is limited, but your wisdom is infinite. Thank you for generously giving us the wisdom we need when we seek it. Help us to walk in that wisdom today. Psalm 91 verses 1 to 2 declares, Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Lord, we choose to dwell in your shelter today. You are our refuge, our fortress, and our safe place. We rest in the shadow of your almighty presence, knowing that you are our protector and provider. No harm can come to us when we are under your divine covering. We place our trust in you, and we thank you for your constant protection. As we near the close of this time together, we are reminded of your abundant love for us. In Romans 8 verses 38 to 39, we find this beautiful truth. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Father, we thank you for your unfailing love. Nothing can separate us from your love, not our past, our mistakes, our fears, or our doubts. Your love is steadfast and eternal, and we are so grateful to be recipients of such amazing grace. Help us to walk in the confidence of your love today, and every day. As we close this prayer, we give you all the praise and glory for the good things you are doing in our lives. We thank you in advance for the breakthroughs, the blessings, and the peace that are already on their way. We seal this time of prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's close this prayer video with a powerful and heartfelt prayer, wrapping everything together and leaving the word with a sense of peace, hope, and God's presence. Dear Heavenly Father, as we bring this time of prayer to a close, we thank you for the moments we've spent in your presence. We are grateful for the peace that has settled in our hearts, the hope that has been renewed, 
and the assurance of your love and protection over us. Lord, we commit the rest of this day to you. We know that as we move forward, you go before us, beside us, and behind us, surrounding us with your grace. May we walk in the light of your truth, keeping our eyes fixed on you and our hearts aligned with your will. Father, we pray for strength for the journey ahead. Whatever challenges may come, we trust in your power to overcome them. We believe in your promise that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Guide us in every decision, comfort us in every trial, and uplift us in every moment of doubt. Lord, we ask for your continued favor and blessings over our lives. We pray for breakthroughs where we've been waiting, healing in areas of pain, and provision for every need. Let your will be done in our lives, as it is in heaven. Help us to stay connected to you, to remain faithful in prayer, and to seek your presence every day. As it says in Numbers 6 colon 24-26, The Lord bless you and keep you, the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you, the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. We claim these blessings, Lord, trusting in your faithfulness and your unfailing love. May your peace go with us, your joy strengthen us, and your love fill us as we go about our day. We thank you for hearing our prayers, for answering them according to your perfect will, and for being with us always. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. The Importance of Daily Morning Prayers Closing Messages Thank you so much for joining me in this powerful morning prayer today. I am truly grateful for each and every one of you who took the time to seek God's presence. Remember, starting your day with prayer is vital for nurturing your spirit and grounding yourself in faith. It sets the tone for a blessed and fruitful day ahead. We encourage you to make this morning prayer a part of your daily routine. There's incredible strength and peace that comes from dedicating just a few moments each day to connect with God, to seek His guidance, and to ask for His blessings. If you were inspired by today's prayer, please like this video and share it with friends and family who might benefit from it. Together, we can spread hope and encouragement to those who need it most. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, God's Revelations, for more uplifting prayers, motivational messages, and spiritual guidance. Hit that notification bell so you'll never miss a moment of encouragement as we share new content designed to bless your heart and uplift your spirit. And if you enjoyed this video, we have plenty more for you. Check out our other prayer videos right here on the channel. Let them be a source of strength and inspiration as you continue your journey of faith. Thank you once again for being a part of our community. May you walk in the light of God's love and grace today and every day. Remember, keep praying, keep believing, and keep watching. Until next time, God bless you.